subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we are popping into Still Good Consignments. They're located in North Houston. You might remember them from the last stop on the Holiday Triple Thrift. I found lots of treasures here over the years that I can't wait to take you along. Join me. There are two great walls of China here at Still Good Consignments. I can't wait to take you along and we can look at some of the patterns new and old. There's definitely something for every taste and table here. The classic Linux Eternal and a French inspired pattern made in the USA with a gold edging. Look at that vase. That's unusual to find one that matches a place setting, 22 karat gold. And this lovely Bavarian pattern has actually been in the store for quite a while, and it's on lower than the lowest markdown, $248. It's got a beautiful back stamp, Schatza Bavaria. And that would be a great addition to any table. And the spode, you probably recognize the shape from period dramas. They often feature this because it is true to that era. I've not seen one with cobalt accents. It is lovely. And they've got quite a few pieces. Let's take a look at the back stamp. Oh, that teacup is just so dainty. Have not seen the Sutherland pattern before. Look at that, Spode Copeland's China. And wouldn't this pattern be sweet for breakfast or brunch? It's made by Linux. I've actually not seen this before. It's just a beautiful pattern. You could even pull pink from that too. And the Johnson Brothers set, I've actually not seen before, but it is a more current one. And that would be great for starting off your day. It's like a culinary trip with all the different fruit and designs. Look at the strawberries, it's made in England. And look at that detail with the strawberry on the saucer. And those teacups are modern and very interesting with that pattern, kind of a marbled look. And these glasses would pair well with it. And it was priced right, $250. And here's an overview of just some of the crystal and the everyday glasses that you can combine with the china. Wouldn't these be fun for juice with brunch or even maybe a chocolate mousse dessert? And the platinum rim, I think that's coming back. I grew up with these glasses in the avocado green. They're very heavy. And I'm thrilled to find a new pattern here today with quite an extensive collection. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And it is $950. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm often asked by viewers how they can sell China that maybe they've inherited. And I suggest Still Good Consignments if you're in the Houston area or anywhere in Texas. I love discovering a pattern that maybe I haven't seen before. This is the Buckingham pattern and it is quite lovely with so many different colors. You could pull the light blue, the yellow, the red, anything gold and it is a vast collection. Here it tells us that there are 24 dinner plates, salad plates, bowls, cups, saucers, creamers, lots of serving pieces, and a coffee pot and platter. And this, I think, would be something that you would enjoy having in your collection. It is $950, but as with anything at a consignment store, the price goes down over time. And if you're willing to wait till June 20th to take a chance that it might still be here, you could have it for $665. Well, I found my favorite spot in the store. It's all about Waterford Crystal. I see some classic pieces. And these make great gifts. Think about that when you are looking for 
maybe a housewarming gift, birthday gift. It's a great opportunity to find something worth a whole lot and pay very little. And occasionally they'll have a box that goes with it. If not, you can package this in so many different ways. And you know, a lot of Waterford pieces today are made in Slovenia. You don't find as many that are made in Ireland. And the beauty of consignment shopping is that you find some of the classic pieces. Anything from a frame to a vase. And a bowl, of course, is one of the most useful items. I see the Lismar Rose Bowl. These swans are actually candle holders. Aren't they lovely? And this hurricane is very well priced. I've not actually seen that in person before. And this bowl is similar to a master cutter. Uh, you probably have seen that before. I found one in Old Town Spring. And this at $68 is a steel NC. It says box. That means you get a new in box item. And it would be great for gifting. This overture creamer would be great for syrup, for pancakes in the morning. So many different uses. I always find wonderful Waterford pieces here are still good that are affordable and in perfect condition. This is a great example of the Waterford of the 90s. The overture pattern, it was made in Germany. I have a friend that collects this. He says it brings him joy. This is the Rose Bowl. It has a very interesting oval shape to it. It's $76.50 and I will definitely take this back for him. So many great pieces here in the Waterford collection. This 10 inch Newcastle compote is $158. Originally was 300 retail. And look at that beautiful design. You've seen in a recent segment, the many uses of compotes. And this brass hurricane is also a good deal at $76.50. And the Waterford wedding bowl with the beautiful heart pattern. And this compote is simply stunning. Wouldn't that be a great centerpiece for a table with a floral arrangement? They have new items as well. I see some candles, uh, but I just had to give you another look at the Waterford stemware. They have lots of Waterford Lismore here today, which is the number one pattern in the world across all of tabletop. And here's a great example of the goblet and the liqueur. And you probably think that this would be a lot less expensive. In this store today, it actually is. But retail, it is the same price because 14 hours of labor go into making each one of these glasses. Oh, and they're just absolutely stunning. I think Waterford on your table is always a good idea. Look at this Yadro. Have you ever seen a piece like this before? Let's take a closer look and learn a little bit more about this. Such a fine lady with her bouquet. This is the largest Yadro figurine I have ever seen. These are made in Spain and usually they're a lot smaller and I'll show you some more of the collection here in the store as well. And this lovely lady has some beautiful flowers. She's $1,150 and the regular retail is $2,300. So you're definitely getting a deal. And of course the price goes down the longer it's here. And I think this would be quite a statement piece for your collection. And there's so much to discover. Look at this lusterware tea set and the console bowl this is definitely vintage glass that can be used for potpourri or as a base for perhaps a vase as a centerpiece it's the largest one I've seen absolutely stunning at $38.40 it's a deal and look at all of the beautiful colors here with the cut to clear cobalt emerald even the black and the amethyst these are Ashka. They are from Hungary and on the secondary market, they're at least a hundred dollars a piece. So at less than that, half of that would be an amazing deal. I love how they showcase the colors with the natural sunlight. I see some frosted glass. This double handled vase is quite stunning, but my eye is drawn to this Fenton opalescent hobnail basket. Isn't that sweet? $22. That's a great price. I might keep an eye on that one to add to my basket collection. And Still Goods is sort of like a furniture, home decor, jewelry, and accessory store. There's so much all in these 14,000 square feet. This is a Julia Knight punch bowl that could be a great centerpiece and they do a good job of trying to give you the retail value so that you can make a good buying decision. And the Julia Knight P and E cake stands. I have gifted these before to friends for significant birthdays. 
Uh, they're definitely fun and you can stack them as well. And I think they retail for about 200. So that truly is a great deal at $80. And the Wilson Armitel sunflower plates. I've actually not seen these before. My daughter loves sunflowers and they look like they're in new condition. Again, a really good price. This is the Eddy pattern from Wilton Armitel. I have this in many different sizes and it's so purposeful and this can go from freezer to oven to table. Can't tell you how much I've used my Wilton Armitel over the years. And I'm eyeing these Wedgwood teapots. It's the Cuckoo and the Butterfly Bloom pattern. And so tempted with these. I actually had a matching teacup that I offered in my giveaway. So one lucky viewer got that and I hope that she enjoys it. And they've got silver as well. Sterling flatware you occasionally find here. It's still good. And oh, just so much to discover. So make sure you take a look in every quarter of the store. Someone had a bell collection they're consigning. And back to the sterling silver, I'm eyeing that compote too. And this flatware is really neat. And I'll tell you a little bit about the history of this. They have lots of sterling hollowware and flatware here today. This is a pattern that is near and dear to my heart. It is the Westmoreland George and Martha. My grandmother had this pattern. And interesting, it was actually a brand that was created in the 1940s by the Wallace Silversmith Company and Wherever Aluminum. And this is what they did to generate sales in the 1940s during the war. And Wallace made the silver and the Wherever Aluminum Company sold it. And my grandmother purchased hers from a door-to-door -door salesman. And I have her pattern today. Mm, here's a closer look at that beautiful Sterling Hollowware. You never know what or whom you will see at a consignment store. Here is Queen Elizabeth. This was made by Royal Dalton to commemorate her 30th year on the throne. And it is quite a lovely piece. She's in full regalia and it is a limited edition. It's $126. Isn't she lovely? They have some beautiful figurines here today. But I wanted to point out this piece of chinoiserie here. It is sort of like a glimpse into a dollhouse. And lots of detail here with all the pieces, even complete with a screen inside. Let's take a closer look at this beautiful piece. It's almost like stepping into a living room, isn't it? I've never seen something quite like this. It's very authentic in the style and that lacquer screen. Would be a good conversation piece and that's the neat thing about shopping at consignment stores people travel the world and have interesting collections and you can benefit from that it's very well priced isn't it it might just need an oriental rug right there in the middle and it's a good idea to preview online so keep that in mind if you plan to visit the store and get an idea of their inventory these collector's plates I recognize from Villore and Bach. The Heinrich Company, which was bought by V&B years ago. You probably have heard me talk about that in a recent segment on the spring table. And I do remember this collection benefiting UNICEF. And lots of Yadro figurines. This is definitely the place to go if you have a collection. And look at this cobalt plate. It's definitely eye-catching. That's something to think about. I just had to get a closer look at this plate. The beautiful cobalt was calling me. Isn't that gorgeous? There is a back stamp. I can't quite make it out. It is a lovely glazed piece. It's $152. So I will be watching this for sure. And speaking of pottery, there's some other lovely pieces here. Roseville, I'm sure you're familiar with that brand. And this one I've not seen before. It's Wade Pottery from England. That's a sweet piece and it is $18. This pottery piece would be great for a fall table with a small arrangement or perhaps to hold sugar packets. Look at that beautiful back stamp that's integrated into the design. And here's some beautiful chinoiserie decorative elements that you could add to any look in your home. 
And this piece is definitely going home with me today. I love that it's got the notched corners, peacocks, everything I love, and it will add a pop of color to my chinoiserie collection for $24. And again, a beautiful back stamp from Japan. Oh, some really great finds today. And here's another look at one of my favorite areas of the store. All those great collectibles and the fashion area. Ah, oh, so much to see today. And let's have another look at the Yadro figurines. You know, I don't think someone has to have a collection for this to be a great gift. You can just have one piece to admire. In fact, I think it sometimes has more impact when you don't have a large collection in one spot. And you'll notice these go with all different themes. They're, they have girls with baskets and angels. We were even given one for my daughter's baptism. I think there's always something appropriate that will go with any theme. And the flowers are so delicate and labor intensive that they usually are costlier. And here's a look at some of the small treasures. I bought Limoges boxes here in this case over the years. And the blue and white delved in that tulip time plate. There are lots of collectibles to discover here. And they've got a vast collection of Hummel figurines. I've added some of these to our home in Germany. I think they're such fun. You don't necessarily have to have a wall of them, but you can add some here and there to your decor. And they also have some Delft items. You know, we love the blue and white. This is Tulip Time from Johnson Brothers. And our friends at My Take on Home and Garden have this pattern they have featured in segments as well. Isn't that a lovely piece? And the blue and white is a classic look. I think that would be a great decorative accent as well. And of course you could serve with that. Be perfect for a tea table. Love that back stamp. I found a Patriots Bowl made by the Linux company, and it has pictures of all of our founding fathers here and a beautiful back stamp. It's such a great piece. I think for $35, I might pick this up for one of my charity events for the Daughters of the American Revolution, and that could be an item that would bring in some money to benefit our community. And also wanted to point out Villarain Bach. I do see this some places, especially the Amapola pattern I've seen at the Catholic Charity Guild recently. It's a creamer and sugar, and that would be something fun to add even to white dishes. And it's $38 for the pier. And they do have a lot of Wedgwood Jasper ware here today, including ashtrays. And you're probably wondering what you could possibly do with that, because of course that's not something that's so popular anymore. And I'm thinking for the ashtrays, you could use that for loose change, you could even put paper clips in it on your desk or even serve maybe some candies in it. There's so many different uses for the ashtrays and they're priced right today at $10. Wedgwood Jasperware features neoclassical designs and is available in quite a few colors. And my favorite is the classic Wedgwood blue and the deeper blue, the Portland, is also nice. There's so much furniture to discover here, whether you're looking for a new dining room set or even bedroom furniture. They have it all here, it's still good. And come along with me and let's take a look at the vast collection of furnishings. The secretary is a lovely piece. I've actually seen that displayed in a bathroom with towels and supplies, and it actually makes for quite a nice look. And speaking of looks, this would be amazing in your entryway. Look at that hall tree. I think it must be from England. Perhaps it came out of a large estate or castle. And that's the neat thing about shopping consignment is that someone else has paid to ship it over from Europe or maybe they brought something back from their travels and you can benefit from that. So you always find a variety of items that um, in the end will add interest and probably save you money. This is another interesting piece that looks more like from the Victorian area and it's very well priced, especially if you wait until May, it's under $1,000. And what a great way to display your silver service. And here's another example of a true antique that you can find it's still good. This reminds me of the cabinet, the server that we have at our home in Germany with the hand carving. Ours was purchased at a flea market in Metz, France. You've seen me feature that in our German home tour. And it's very well priced. It's already down to $675.50. It probably costs that much to ship it over. 
And look at this grandfather clock. Isn't that amazing? This is sold, but I wanted to showcase it anyway. It's hand carved. What an amazing piece. Just another example of finding the unexpected at a consignment shop. And that will make quite an impact in someone's home. And they'll always be on time. Look at these beautiful dining tables. Just really something for every look in your home. And here's another antique piece. This armoire is also well prized. In Europe, they don't have closets. They're not built into the homes. And that's why they have armoires. And we added some antique pieces to our home during the remodeling. And it's especially nice with the mirror. Look at the inlay on this Thomasville dining set. Oh, really nice. I can see that with so many settings. And of course, I couldn't resist. I had to place some china, crystal, and silver. Let's take a closer look and I'll explain why I've chosen all of these parts and pieces. Consignment shopping is a great way to build your home and tabletop collection. We're starting with the table. Yes, the table and chairs can be yours. And I have added a bowl to our play setting of the Ming Buckingham China. This is a Vastoria piece, and that could be for an appetizer or maybe even dessert. And isn't this gorgeous? I know you've already seen the Ming pattern from Buckingham. And I love all the different colors here you see that in the stemware I've added some bohemian glass. Isn't that gorgeous with the hawk wine? Picks up the ruby red. And this is very special. It is a Saint Louis French crystal. These are about $400 each, and they have a pair of them here. And for our water goblet, this is a very casual Lennox glass. And I like the golden tone there. And of course, I had to add the George and Martha Westmoreland. So everything from the fork to the table, you can find at a consignment shop. Look at these luxury handbags. You wouldn't expect to find these in a consignment shop. But let's take a closer look at these. There's some lovely handbags in the accessories department. This is a tote, it is sort of a carry-all. It's from Talbot's and it's $74. Isn't this a fabulous piece? I can see that for a Florida vacation. And of course they have Louis Vuitton and many other brands. This is $995. It comes with a certificate of authenticity. And I can tell you that's a really good price. I was just in Louis Vuitton, their store in Luxembourg, and the handbags there were about four to $5,000 each for something this size. And there's MCM. This is a brand that I have not seen before in the United States. It stands for Modern Creation München. It is from Germany. That's a very tiny bag and it is $495. And they also have some more affordable handbags. So make sure that you look all over this area. It doesn't have to be in a locked case to be valuable or purposeful for you. Here's a crossbody bag. I use this shape for garage sales so that I have my hands free and especially walking around in Europe. It's definitely my favorite style. This is a Kate Spade denim look. And here's a Brighton. I think once you use crossbodies, you realize how you have your hands free. It's just so much easier to shop around. And this is a Mary Frances. These are artfully made handbags. My stepmother has a similar one to this. I have quite an extensive collection myself and I enjoy using them. Here's a modern twist to a Kate Spade with that zipper on the outer part. And this is a really neat colorful bag with the classic edging. I love that blue and white. And the Kate Spade soft pink. And you can also do a comparison on your phone and look up a similar handbag. They try to give you the retail price as well for reference. And most of these are gently used. Occasionally they do have some that are brand new with tags. And this coach bag is a really good deal. They let you know that it's 498 retail and the price on this one is $98. And you could probably find a nice wallet to go with that. Look at the one my friend is going to take home today. It's also coach and it looks like it's never been used for $46. It's got a checkbook cover. It really is a classic look that you could use with just about any handbag and it looks like it would last you for years to come. 
I know she's happy to have that. Here's a small Dunian Burke. It's very sweet and petite. Would be perfect for a young lady. And it's $98. Brahmin is one of my favorite handbags. And this is a really neat look for the summer. It's got some texture on it, as most all Brahmins do, and a palm leaf tropical look here. I can see that for something that would work with just about any outfit. And they also have an Yves Saint Laurent that's a classic look, sort of like a Grace Kelly bag. Isn't that fabulous? $1,895. And that's something that you could keep in your wardrobe and use for many years to come. And there's also a Gucci scarf. They have so many wonderful brands here. Mm, this Gucci scarf would be nice draped on a side table. Certainly doesn't have to be worn to be enjoyed. They've got also some chinoiserie jewelry, and I found other brands such as Kendra Scott and James Avery. And lots of wallets. They have Vera Bradley as well. Really great gift options here, and of course the designer bags. It's been such fun shopping today at Still Good Consignments. I'm picking up this Tulip Time Johnson Brothers platter for my friends at my take of Home and Garden. And my friend Mark is delighted to get his Waterford Overture Rose Bowl. It's something he does not have in his collection, and it's very well priced. And this Presidential Series Bowl from Lennox, I am excited to add to my Daughters of the American Revolution charity auction. And my friend Lydia was happy to find her friendly village pattern from Johnson Brothers teapot. Thanks so much for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with consignment shopping.